Hello residents of Meeple Town. Today in Meeple Town Mini, I'm going to be talking about World Breakers. Now this is a single player, solo player, or a two player head to head game, which is where I've spent all of my time playing this is, is head to head, where you are taking a substance called Mythium and you're using this in different ways to destroy your other opponent. It takes place in the this uh, altered 13th century and you're going to be taking on the role of a guild you're going to be the the earth guild um, and the earth guild is going to use mythium through meditation and training and they're going to be putting a ton of followers out there and those followers are going to be very powerful and attacking your opponent you're going to have the stars guild you can take on them where you're going to be putting out these uh, locations and they're going to come out quickly and you're also going to be slowing down your opponent they use the mythium in to uh, infuse into their clothes and jewelry and art and then you have the let's see we have the moon guild and the moon guild is the engineers and they use mythium as a power source for their inventions and they're going to be uh, putting out these more powerful locations and then finally we have the the void guild and the void guild is uh, their assassins and spies and they weaponize that mythium and so how this plays out is you're going to be taking a deck of cards and you're shuffling these up and you're going to go head to head just like any of these other you know magic the gathering type games where you are going to be playing cards ultimately you're trying to get 10 power to be the winner of the game so you're going to be putting out followers and the followers will attack the other player you're going to put out locations and you develop those locations and when you do that you're going to be gaining power or um, abilities along the way lots of different things that the cards do so each of the deck uh, each of the decks for the different factions are going to be very different and they play out so differently and so there's a lot of exploration in this game when I first play the game I might not have any idea how to play this character but then after I've played the character then I know oh I'm gonna to want to play this again because I can figure this one out and I know how to play to their strengths and and play to the weaknesses of the other player now the cool thing about this game is it's very customizable. So you've got these four different factions that I've mentioned and you have these pre-constructed decks that the game comes with, but you can also customize your own deck. There's a little bit of deck construction in this. If you want that, you don't have to have it. Um, you can also draft uh, with the other players, kind of draft your, your decks. And again, you don't have to do that. There's solo game, uh, the solo game in this, solo campaign that you can play through, and lots of different ways to customize this really small box game that is, again, just kind of a head-to-head -head type game. Now, a little background into me. I've not played a lot of these games. I've played more of the deck builders like um, Star Realms and, and Hero Realms and the new Star Wars uh, deck building game. I've played games like that, but I've not played a ton of these type of games. So I don't have a whole lot of experience, but my experience with this one has been very good. I've really enjoyed going head to head on this one. Um, now I will say when I've played somebody who is new in this, I, you're gonna win. I mean, it, more than likely, you're probably gonna win against somebody who hasn't played this. And so it's, some people might view that as a negative. For me, I view it as a positive because the people I've played with are like, hey, I wanna play this again. You know, I want to explore this faction a little bit more. And in fact, you know, you might think four is not a lot, um, but it is. There's a lot to explore with those four factions and, and you get a lot of game for quite a small box game. So I was really pleasantly surprised with this, this one. Again, not having a lot of experience with these type of games. I didn't really know what to expect. But this is a recommend for me too. If you like these style games, I think this is worth it. The art, by the way, is beautiful. The cards uh, are fun. The exploration is fun. And there's just so much to customize in this game. So again, a recommend for me for World Breakers. Go check it out. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us. And thanks to our Patreon supporters for making content like this possible. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com slash meepletown. To follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, find us at Meepletown Games. Finally, to connect with us and other residents of Meepletown, you can join Guild 3407 at BoardGameGeek.com. Until next time, thanks for coming down to Meepletown.